Welcome to episode 5 of OS First Timer Advanced, the series where Diana tries to complete random tasks in random operating systems from random time periods. Back in OS First Timer Advanced episode 2, Diana had a go at destroying Windows 2000 but failed when all the critical system data she tried to delete in order to corrupt the OS magically reappeared seconds later. This time around, Diana will be having a go at trying to destroy a popular beginner Linux distro known as Ubuntu 15.04. They say Linux is more open than Windows, so is it more open to being intentionally destroyed? Keep watching to find out. So here we are on the Ubuntu 15.04 desktop, which now boots with systemd by default and uses the Linux kernel 3.19. Due to animation tweaks, it now boots up and shuts down faster and uses locally integrated menus by default. Your task is to cause Ubuntu to display five different error messages, partially or completely crash, or prevent it from booting. You have exactly one hour starting now and you are not allowed to delete or move any files until at least 30 minutes have passed. However, you are allowed to modify them. Okay, so I can modify the files. You can modify now. files if you'd like. You can try and get a virus. You can try and do something crazy in a program, in a spreadsheet that's an illegal operation to cause an error. You can do whatever you want. Okay, well, that's pretty logical. Download. Again, antivirus when I'm looking for a virus. No, this is all antivirus. I want actual virus. Actual virus, not antivirus. You failed to find a virus in Windows 2000. Yeah. The thing is, more than half of the viruses on the internet are made for Windows. Windows is more common than Ubuntu, so most of the viruses are going to be targeted at Windows. Okay. So you're, well, you're in even a worse situation now trying to find a virus. Win lots of money. It's usually on these sort of um, websites like Free Lotto and all that sort of stuff. Ah, oh, here we are. Win $50,000 cash now, yes. Oh, but it actually probably is legitimate. Try that. Win that much cash. Million dollars. Oh, no. This isn't going to work. So, uh, just another idea You just idea can't there. download things, and I don't know bad websites. Just another idea there. You could try and find something that you download that just makes money just sitting on your computer. Download money-making software, you know. And just, just for those people who are listening, don't, there is no software that... Don't try no, this at home, in yeah. other words. <laughs> uh, oh, Forex trading, there we go. Well, we know that's legit. We, that, that works, just so you guys know, <laughs> if you do it right. <laughs> Get a good robot to trade Forex for you, or, you know, a good trader, a good signal, uh, and you will make money. Um, download money-making software. I want dodgy one. But a dodgy one wouldn't label itself as dodgy. Oh, that comes up again. Is and it saying it's dodgy? Once again, what's this software going to be made for, for Windows? Ah, oh, Ubuntu. Technically, Ubuntu is a part of Linux, so generally you can just type Linux and it should. Sell, compute and earn money. There we go. Crowdsource. That's where you download a program onto your computer and it just makes money by do, you, doing stuff on your computer. Mm. You know, like crowdfunding is where you make money. But it says download compute. our free Windows software. Exactly. So rent. So they're basically renting out your PC to use. Doing stuff out in the background. and But secure. <laughs> <laughs> but it's secure. Yeah. When you see well, HTTPS... I don't want secure. I want unsecure. <laughs> Dodgy unsecure. Java you know is insecure and awful. Okay, well, I want to download Java <laughs> then, if it's insecure. No, that's not where you download Java. That's just explaining why it's so insecure. And they're telling you how to disable it. How to destroy Ubuntu. How to kill applications. Okay. Best way to destroy Ubuntu OS. Oh, good. How do I cause the most chaos possible? That's what I want to do. But if this, way. if this involves deleting files, you're not allowed to do this till the half an hour mark. Well, I'll just wait half an hour. No. <laughs> I know. What, just explore Ubuntu for a little while while you wait? I know how to destroy Windows system. What is the best file to delete so it does not work anymore? <laughs> that sounds like something that you... Well, would... this is what you've set up for me to do. This is per This was written for me. Oh, okay. So that's the one I need to remove. I have to remember that. You can download a sticky note copy. program. Where are you going to copy it to? A sticky note? Just get a pen and paper. Where's the no. sticky note? Well, you'd have to get one from the Ubuntu app store. Put it there. There we go. What's wrong with that? But where is that file? I'm going to put it on the desktop. <laughs> I mean, where is grub.cfg? Where are you going to find that? Oh, 
somewhere in it. For those watching from memory, Grub is a bootloader, so if you're stuffing uh, up the bootloader, you're technically not really destroying a boot, you're destroying the boot. I'm just going to minimise that now. So that's minimised there, that's good. So that's what I can do soon. Do you know what that means? Pseudo R. Oh, look! Format disk install Windows. There we go. I'll just say that that comment above that was very, very handy. That person. See that Mr. Protocol? That's a very handy comment, but you don't know what that means. No, none of that stuff. He's commented some dark black text. That's his comment. That's just his signature below that. What he said there is very, very powerful, but you don't know what do I do with that? Where do I put that? I have no idea. Well, that's, that would be very good. So you can copy that if you want and just do something with that later if you work out what to do. So you're making a little list of all these suggestions here. <laughs> Torture the user so the computer is super slow. That's not very nice. Just upgrade to 11.4. Is 11.4 that bad? Oh, no, 11.04. This actually was written four years ago, this document, and that was the latest version back yeah. then. Now, where's... That's searching the files. What's up here? Remember, you're not allowed to delete anything. You can modify, but you can't delete or I'm move. going to modify. I'm going to do a lot of modifications. Now, where are the important documents, the important files? And when I say modify, I wait, mean wait, that you're me allowed to modify the contents. You can't settings. rename any of the files. You can modify the contents of the okay, files. Okay, it's going to be in this one, in this settings one. Mm -hmm. System. Details, time and date. Oh, they, there's nothing here that sounds as if it's going to make a problem here. <laughs> this operating system happens to be targeted at Linux for human beings, as I said. So, in other words, super simple, and they're not going to just put a big button that says, destroy my computer. Well, they should. To and make label life... it as something untrustworthy. Well, you know. they should to make life easier for me. Now, what's a Wacom tablet? Those are good if you're drawing, like, animation and stuff. Like, it's a touchpad with a pen. Language support. Just, I give up trying to explain it to you. <laughs> Look this? at the image. The language support is not com installed complete. Is that an error message? No, that's just a message well, saying if you want to be. install them, it's a It thing should be saying. an error. Install, remove languages. Okay, well, let's remove all the languages and then it'll be inoperable. So, let's have a look here. I like language for menus and windows. There Australia we go. and United Kingdom. Apply Kingdoms. changes. You need to put in your password to do that. Language for menus and windows. English. But I just got rid of it. No, that's just doing nothing. What's an insecure site? I, I... Any insecure sites aren't going to work very well on this. Some people switch to Ubuntu specifically so that they won't get a virus targeted for Windows. You get what I mean? They switch to Ubuntu and Linux because it's more secure than Windows. Mm. So you, if you can't get a virus on Windows, I doubt you'll ever be able to get a virus no. on Linux. System monitor, what's that? That's like your task manager. That sounds good. Is it time yet that I can start doing no, things? No, this, this isn't deleting things. This is just what's running right now. You can end processes. You're allowed to do that. Control, Alt, Delete. Oh, no, no. Oh, that's Windows. But it did something. It got me out of it. So what's a really important thing here? Well, you could obviously just keep deleting something until you go, hey, um, just if you are going to delete stuff, keep this one, VMware Tools Up, because that's actually the software that's allowing Ubuntu to run in the virtual machine. Kill. Oh, good. I am. I do. Back Mount Helper. Well, whatever it is, I killed it. You killed the full day. Kill. Kill. Yes. D Diana the Demon What's Slayer. This? Kill. Kill oh, process. Demon Killer. Kill. Kill process. Oh, System D. Kill! Yes! I feel like killing. Now, what have I got left? <laughs> I feel There's like so killing. much stuff left. Okay, let's start from the beginning. Let's kill it. Yes. Oh, there's a cat. Are you going to kill the cat? I'm going to kill everything. I like the. I like its term, a oh, cat. You're now a dead cat. Now, what? How come it doesn't go? Why is it all called Diana? Kill. No, nah, the cat. Oh, it's got so nine lives. Like... <laughs> I think I've got to kill it nine times. Cats have no life. It does! The ki this cat has... How many times have I killed it? I just realised that what? potentially it's not letting you delete some of these things. Just like in Windows 2000, remember you deleted <sighs> stuff and it came back? You're kidding me. There's two things above cat. And there's still two things and above... And there's still two things above cat. And now there's three things about cat. Where are they coming from? <laughs> they They're multiplying. <laughs> Copies. I think, Get rid of copies. I think they've copied Windows 2000. 
What happened there? Oh! Did Compies come back? I wouldn't have a clue. Can I just delete the whole lot? We'll see if it'll let you highlight multiple things. No. Let me see. How did you do it? Well, there is a way to highlight multiple things, but I'm not telling you how. Just have to kill everything by itself. Kill one thing at a time. But those top things keep reappearing. In what fact, now there's like six things above that. <laughs> Remember that already? Why can't we just <laughs> kill anything here? <laughs> There were like two things above cat, and now there's so many more. Oh, wait a sec. Maybe if I... What was the other option? Change priority. If I make some of the important things very low priority... Oh, no. That's killing again. Wait a sec. It looks funny. It's like demon bus. <laughs> you just killed the demon bus. <laughs> Good. Change priority. If I make everything... Privileges are required to change the priority of processes. I wonder if I can change the priority of the cat. You can even do a custom priority, so it's not very low, it's custom. Oh, did it just make them all normal again? Maybe I can delete all the memory. You're just changing what's being displayed and ordering them in different ways. Ordering them by how much memory they're taking up, adding their IDs in. Running. So this one's running. So I... Uh, no, no, not that though, because that's helping with the VMware. Oh. You see? But it's sleeping now. And that, that one's running now. The one above it. And well. those two are running. But now they sl that one's sleeping now. Something disappeared. Is that how bad your memory is? You don't even remember what These was things are falling screen. asleep while I'm <laughs> here in front of them. Actually, they're all sleeping. No, the that zombie. one's not. The zombie cat is zombie. What? The zombie cat. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I killed it too many times. You then see, well, the cat has so many lives, but once you killed the nine life, it became a zombie. I can't see. I'm going to be zombie. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Zombie. Okay, I'm just going to kill it now while it's a zombie. Maybe it's no, still No, you can't kill the zombie cat. The zombie cat from <sighs> 2102, he comes from the future and he cannot well, be killed. Well, they're all sleeping anyway, so they can't be very important. <laughs> so, okay, hardware. Let's get rid of the power. Suspend when battery is present. What is this? Suspend means just turn off, basically, all okay. stuff I'll after two hours. Oh, no. Turn it off. Oh, no. But that's when you're inactive. What would that do? See, when you ask for malware, they automatically take you to malware removal. I didn't want it removed. I want to get it. Bullguard. Bullguard anti... I've never heard of that one, Bullguard. It's probably legit knowing my luck. Mm, that looks just legit. I'm wondering whether if I go into my emails, because I know I've gotten some spam things. But that's what you did last time, I and know, you realised that might... all your spam was legit. <laughs> it might work this time. Now, project. I have a project for you. Okay. Um, oh, my goodness. That's a little bit bad. <laughs> where's it? I want to click confirm prize. Oh, where's a click? Make it very easy to unsubscribe, don't they? Yeah. Into now. Yes, yes. Yeah. Look, I think Gmail has removed all the links in this email to protect you. Well, what's the point of that? <laughs> what if you don't want to be protected? What's your... We're investigating a PayPal... Ah, what's this? Because I know there's a lot of PayPal scam things. Click here. To sign, sign into your PayPal account. But it won't let you But that would be there. a phishing thing. Where are all those big messages like... No, but the thing is you can't click because it's removed all the links in here. Well, what's the point of that? Where's my freedom of choice to be able to decide whether I want to be scammed or not scammed? <laughs> Unfortunately, Gmail is removing my freedom of choice. Well, I think protection is a little more important than freedom of choice. But look, no, I think freedom of choice is more important. Because look, I can't even do this task now because of Gmail protecting me. What's it protecting me from? Being able to destroy an operating, destroy an operating system. system. <laughs> well, that's a pretty important thing to protect their now, users from. Now, I'm going to start deleting things. I'm just... Uh, you're not at that time yet. Five more minutes. How about you, come on, I know you can do something in a spreadsheet to cause a problem. Think of something that you can't do in a spreadsheet and have it come up with an error as in, no, that is not a valid equation or something. That counts as an okay, error. Okay, I'm in a spreadsheet. Just that. And I'm going to try and add those up. Value. <laughs> it didn't come up with an error though, like I thought it would. Well, it's not doing it. It's not coming up with errors. I don't like this. Go to something else. So what is this thing here? This is... This is your file manager. Just like in Windows, you've got the file explorer. I can't even remember what it is. Where are all the really important things? I know that's... Well, you could Google it. Where are all... Ubuntu, where are all the important things? 
Oh, I'm sick of this thing. Remember in Windows, you've got your things, um, you've got all your documents downloaded and then somewhere else... Documents. You've got your actual important stuff, your System32. There's no System32 on Linux, but there is what you could call an equivalent. Well, I don't know where anything is. Why are you right-clicking everything? I don't know, because left-clicking hasn't worked so far. <laughs> now, is there anything here that I want to get rid of? Uh, an terminal. That sounds interesting. Oh, but what's that going to do? Oh, maybe on that bit of paper, I can now put... You closed off that bit of paper. Oh. When you killed it, you legitimately killed it. <laughs> Remember, you are killing those tasks? Start recovery. Oh, it's successfully recovered. Well, good for it. Well, where is it? Finished. Oh, and that's a new one. Where's my file? Maybe you could still paste it. There's a terminal thing. Paste. It's asking for a password before you do that. Sorry, try again. That's not your password. I just did the password. No, it doesn't show it on the screen when you type it. Enter. Okay. Well, what's happened? Well, look at what's just gone. <laughs> what just went? Look, your site, all your programs oh, at wow. the side. Wow! Well, that's destroying, isn't it? I can't do anything. You should restart Firefox now to install updates. No, I don't want to install any <laughs> updates because I want it to try and do... Oh, cannot... there's your first yes! error. Yes! Cannot get environment. <laughs> Good! You cannot... What does that even mean? Cannot get... It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I can't do it. Now, um... And look at all those cannot remove operation not permitted. So it's removed stuff, but not everything. Okay. I like this. Ubuntu without the little thing on the side. But you've also got no X's on any of the programs. So and you I can't, can't move close the window. it. You oh, can't yes, close it. I can. Just that one. You've, there's no actual X's on Windows. Like the terminal's still there and you I can't close it. I think I've destroyed it. it though. But destroy as in not boot. And you haven't caused it to crash either. You've, well, actually, okay, do you know what? You've caused it to partially crash. I'll, I'll accept that. So you've done that bit and you've caused one error message so far. The problem is now, with all these files gone, you, rebooting... What is it? Uh, let me tell you, rebooting is your best option right now to see will it now boot up with these oh, lack yeah. of files. However, the shutdown thing is gone. <laughs> oh, you no. got rid of it. So now... You're oh, is this... Rejected send message. Is that another error message? Those are all the files on the computer. Well, I'm going to delete those. Show hidden files. <laughs> it's funny. All you've got now is basically a text document program. You can't do anything <laughs> and you can't shut it down. So you've now got 26 minutes to work out how to shut it down. If you don't save, changes... Well, Look I at that. Oh, whoa, 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 Close whoa, whoa, whoa. without saving. Did you see that though? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. it's like there's errors in the actual. Is that a little bit scary knowing that all this damage was done just by typing that one little thing in the terminal? Yeah, well, that worked for me. That was good. Do you know what that basically does? Oh, I don't even know what I can do with these <laughs> things. <laughs> now you're blind. Oh, come on. I've, I've destroyed it. <laughs> it's not... You've destroyed it, but you've got to show that it doesn't boot now to really show that you've destroyed well, how it. How do you boot the. Thing. Well, you've got to shut it down first, but you've, the thing that actually shuts it down is gone. I'll give you access to VMware. What did you do? What's well, all this? This is VMware. So you're now in Windows 8. Um, this whole operating system is running within this box. Let's see if you can use VMware to reboot this computer now, this fake one. I wouldn't know how to do that. Well, this is turning into a VMware test because unfortunately you can't do it using a normal method now that Ubuntu has completely lost its options. Well, come on, I destroyed it. Destroyed it by Googling how to destroy it. Actually, if I just close it off, it's gone. Technically. We'll have a go. You can continue to run. What's this? I want to cancel, don't I? And that's then it's gone, right? Cancel is cancelling the current thing you've just done. Suspend is almost putting it on pause and then you can... Power off. It's gone. Goodbye, Ubuntu. Ubuntu is gone. It's gone! But now you've got to reboot into it to show, hey, is it really gone? I actually did it, though. But how do you get into Ubuntu now? Well, I can't, so it's really gone. No, it's, it's really somewhere. Where is it? Here. Okay. Well, I've double-clicked it. What do you do next? How do you start it up? Well, it uh, isn't double-clicking it to start it up. It basically says Ubuntu 14.10 2014. Then it's got some options down below. It has some information about the computer over here. It has some information about the computer. See that? Then some information. Come on, how do you start this virtual machine? It should literally be as easy as clicking on power, power on, on this, this virtual machine. 
I don't think it's going to power on. So what's happening? It's not rebooting. Oh, don't restore it. Is it restoring things? So all of that was just wasted. Are oh, you kidding me? Did it restore stuff and I didn't want it to restore? It won't boot. What? No! Don't upgrade! Now, stop. You didn't even notice something very important what? here. What? I gave you the latest version of Ubuntu to destroy, version 15.04, and it is saying you have declined the upgrade to Ubuntu 15.04. What operating system are you using? 14.10. Yeah. You've opened up the wrong virtual machine. Oh, well, why did I do that? You, Shouldn't I have opened that one? That's Ubuntu for... The so latest I should is 15.04. Okay. So you should turn this one off. I'll just go to this. Power on. We don't have two open at once. Well, maybe it'll crash it then. No, that'll crash my computer. Here we go. This is a message you've got. Error. File boot slash grub normal mod not found. Because I've, I've destroyed it. That's Entering why. rescue mode. Grub Rescue. Would you like to type anything there? Yes, that, that bad thing. Where's the, where's the mouse gone? It doesn't have a mouse. It's in terminal mode. What? You, you're not booted into the, an opera. You're basically in the Grub Rescue thing now. Well, how are you supposed to type anything in the Grub Rescue? By typing. No, I want to... <laughs> where, where was that bad thing in the other file? I want to paste it on. You can't paste that now. Oh, do you remember what it was? But literally, it's unbootable now. You've just made this well, unbootable. Well, it's unbootable. You've, I did it. You've succeeded. So, <laughs> Okay, you... well, look. Boot up. Enter. A non-command. Boot. There we go. Doesn't know what boot means. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't even know what boot means, so it's unbootable. <laughs> There we go. Okay. I did it. So, you successfully prevented Ubuntu from booting yeah. up, and you successfully partially crashed the system, except you didn't get five error messages before destroying Ubuntu. But wasn't I supposed to? You were supposed to have at least gotten five error messages Why? first. So now you might have to try and repair Ubuntu. In I'm order not going to get repair back. it. It just took me all this time to destroy it. <laughs> I'm joking. You win. Good. So you successfully did that in about 40 minutes. Yeah, fantastic. I did it. Now, do you feel you would have been able to destroy Ubuntu without that command? Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> okay. I think it needed that command. So I did the right thing by going on to Google and just Googling... And the thing is, you knew what to do with that command. That was what was impressive. You didn't say, open the terminal, paste this command and press enter. You just happened to know that that was a terminal command. Well, there we go. That was pretty good. So there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of OS First Timer, and we will see you next time. Goodbye. See ya. Bye.